serve those of us who were lucky enough to end up on the right side of the Iron Curtain, immediately understood, and this was inspired by Winston Churchill, and I'm saddened by the fact that Mr. Kamal, who made such horrible allegations, has left, so I can't answer him personally. But what Churchill brought to the table was this. We have seen that it is possible to use democracy against the rule of law. People, People fought, fought for. for. The, European the European Union, Union based, based on the rule of law, law democracy, democracy, and respect, and respect for human, human rights, rights is, is the, the concrete, concrete expression, expression of the will of freedom of, freedom of 500, 500 million Europeans. Europeans. And, that and that is why, why I believe, I believe these, these institutions, institutions, the European, European Parliament, Parliament and the Commission, and the Commission have, have a responsibility, responsibility where, where we can, can to help 500 million Europeans in the expression of their freedom. And for that, we need an independent judiciary in every single member state. We need full respect of the separation of powers, which is an essential element of our freedom. And we need the possibility to debate and discuss. Because another element I warn about is portraying your adversaries as enemies. We are political opponents sometimes, then we have a political debate. With your adversary, you have a debate. Your enemy, you want to destroy or ignore. In a democracy, there are no enemies, there are adversaries. And that is how this parliament operates, that is how the commission wants to operate, and that is what we need to defend for our children and grandchildren, for our collective future. A Europe whole and free, based on democracy, the rule of law, and human rights. Thank you very much.